Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. This large northwest, northeast bandit responsible for insecurity in Nasarawa State, Governor Sule. Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasarawa State said Tuesday that the bandits dislodged from the northwest and northeast were responsible for the insecurity in the state because of its illy and rocky terrain. Feeding questions from State House respondents. After a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari, the governor said hunters and vigilante groups have been tracking the bandits because they are more familiar with the hilly terrain. He said the state government would not rest on it. In apprehending the criminals through the hard work of the military, police and members of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. The hunters as well as, well as the vigilante groups in Nasara State are able to follow because they are very familiar with the places. The criminals in Nasarawa State are new. They are not from Nasarawa State so as, so as a result of that, our home people are more familiar with the ground and are able to follow where they are. We have boats. We have some of the bandits that were dislodged from the northwest and northeast and they found some of these hilly places. In Nasarawa State, we have a lot of rocky places and they have found some of those places comfortable so they can move to those locations. And as a result of that, we followed up to ensure that we track them based on what they do. There are people who actually go on on the way to the villages and the cities and sometimes kidnapped people and we fo follow them and we also have harmed robbers. We have all the three in Nasarawa State. By the grace of God, we have a very good police commissioner in Nasarawa State, excellent director of DSS and a fantastic director of civil defense and they all work together along with all the military installations that we have. We have about three military installations now. We have the 177 in Kefi. We have the Special Forces and then we have the Wild Stroke. All of them work together in synergy and we are able to make sure they help us in taking care of most of these criminals, he said. The governor who commended the federal government for supporting the area of addressing insecurity said his visit was to brief the president on the security challenges and the success of the elections in the state missed COVID-19 challenges. I came to brief the president on two areas, the area of security in our state, and then the first post-COVID-19 election that we just had in Nasarawa State. We looked at the issues that you must have been hearing about which has to do with our security challenges of kidnappings and some killings that have been taking place where one of the traditional rulers was recently killed. I had to express great appreciation to the president for accepting to set up the Todd Mobile Police Training College in Nasarawa State. We only have two presently in the country, one in Kwaza, Bono State, and another in Oshun State, and now we have the third one in Nasarawa State, and it is set up at the place where it is hilly, where was hitherto used to kidnap and harm robbers. So, so at Kwaza, they call it the desert training, in Oshun, they call it forest training, and the one in Nasarawas, they call it jungle hill training. The project has been completed and we inaugurated it last week. I also used the visit to express our positions to the president for the military super camp that he agreed to set up in Nasarawa State, and both of them have been established and also the Air Force Special Forces in Lafayette and the military special forces in Doma, he said. He said the state government has been giving the needed support to the military and other security agencies operating in the state. We are doing a, a lot when it comes to that. All the military or police formations that are sent to Nasarawa State will play a key role in the allocations of the land and building of the infrastructure. We also support a lot with the needed logistics to make sure that they are well established. We also have a special relationship with them, especially the police, where we have now we have now established community policing in Nasarawa State, and we have also been able to use our vigilante group to attack criminals in collaboration with the security agencies 
especially when kidnapping take place because the vigilantes already already know the terrain so they assist in rescuing kidnapped victims i am very happy to inform you that even those who killed the traditional rulers were arrested last week well that's a good one so continuously we support all the security agencies because security for us in nasara state is paramount because we are having many investors who can only succeed if there is security is set well so viewers what do you think about this news what is your own take the fact is that uh, we appreciate governor Sule for taking charge of nasarawa state we appreciate his effort for trying to stop this insecurity problem in his state i wish other government other governors can do such a thing and that would have been of great help and that would have been a great relief to even president muhammadu himself because it's a good thing for each governor to come together and work hand in hand together to save their innocent people. That is how supposed to be. Not that some governors are just there embezzling money without even saving the lives of innocent people. That is not the kind of leaders that we have in the country, Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. We need somebody that can come out boldly and, and rescue our people from these killings that is going on especially in the north it is not a good thing at all the rate at which this book around these earthmen are tackling with us it is not a good feelings at all it is not what nigerians are praying for i'm telling you the truth so definitely we appreciate what a governor sule did we appreciate him but we wish other governors other leaders can join hands in hands together and uh, uh, and help their people I help their, 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 their fellow communities in each in, in their state. That is exactly what we want. That is what we are praying for. The level at which this insecurity is going. <laughs> you know, Nigerian leaders cannot even handle it. They might not be able to handle it at the end of the day. So it's better for them to face it right now and stop it. Because this thing is, is increasing every day mostly in the north look at what is going on in the uh, southern kaduna the issue is still there people the others wicked people they are still killing innocent people everywhere so what are we now talking about so viewers what do you think about this what is your own take your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comments in the comment section below for those who subscribe we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing we say god bless you if you're yet to do so kindly press the subscription button below and also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload this, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.